Question 8 then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 2. Functions again here. It wants the inverse of a function. You spot that straight away. It says the inverse function exists, and it should do, because with a cube root, there's only one value for each value of x there. So this one rises smoothly in this domain. It gives a domain all the real numbers from 1 to 1,000. Find the inverse function for three marks. Well, there's several ways of doing that. The way you probably do it is just to say, well, the answer will be, call the answer y. And then rearrange it to read x equals. So not an awful lot to do there then. So it'll be the cube root of x will equal y minus 8. So x will be y minus 8. Undo the cube root. Cube that side. And then I think you're allowed in one go just to recreate the variables. Just calling that x. So x minus 8 cubed. It was really inverse function of y is y minus 8. But then once you've got a variable there, you can put any dummy letter in you like. So you could put an x in. Part B, state. Just says state the domain of the inverse function of f just for one mark. We might as well put down what it means here. For the original function f, it took an element of its domain which went all the way from 1 to 1000. And it was a smooth function within that, just smoothly increasing. And for each of those it produced an answer following the rule f. So 1, for instance, became 9. And it would increase gradually until you got to 1000. And the answer for 1000 would have been the cube root of 1000, which is 10 plus the 8, making 18. Now, f takes you to those numbers. It was all the numbers in between, all the numbers in between. So f dashed takes you back, not f dashed. The inverse function takes you back again. So when it says, what's the domain of the inverse function? That will be, just calling those x's again, all the numbers from 9 to 18. So 9 is less than x is less than 18, and all the real numbers in between.